Hello! La la la! Welcome to episode one of Danny vs. Canada, Adventures of an Open Road Freak. I am No Plan Dan, the traveling man. And right now I'm in Charlottetown. Uh, I'm just out here with uh, Billy and Carolyn. We're uh, getting a few things done. We've been to Rocky Point, we've been to Cornwall. We might get some mini golf in later. And basically I just thought I'd do one last update before I hit the road tomorrow. Tomorrow is asphalt day, Sunday, July the 22nd. And uh, basically the plan for tomorrow is to uh, leave the island, go back to New Brunswick. I'm going to be seeing the Hopewell Rocks tomorrow. I'll get some footage of that and keep you posted. Um, hopefully I'll be ending the day in St. John. Uh, I've got a, a couple or three things that I want to see there. And um, from there I'll be heading on to Fredericton and then back to Edmonston, into Quebec, back to Ontario, and right over to BC from there. But um, I won't waste too much more time on this because I'm still on the island and uh, there's lots of good adventures to be had from here on out. And uh, this is probably the most boring part of uh, the video diaries. So I'll let you go for now and stay tuned. Okay, so it's now Monday, July 23rd. Last time I uh, updated, I was supposed to leave uh, Sunday the 22nd, yesterday. But every time I try to leave the island, another islander holds me back. But this time, we're going for sure. This is asphalt day. We're saying goodbye to Clinton, Prince Edward Island. We're heading to Vancouver, BC and beyond. And uh, so let's... Uh, Let's venture out and say hello to the truck because that's going to be my new home from uh, this point on. Here's a quick tour of where I've lived for the past year. This is the basement of, uh, of Billy's place at uh, Clinton Prince Edward Island. This is my little living area here. So we'll say one final goodbye to the living room and we'll come into the bedroom here. Billy's got this place done up pretty well. So there's the bedroom. Here's the bed that I uh, slept in probably 5% of the time I was here on the island. Most uh, most of the time I just crashed on the couch in the living room there. Uh, here's the uh, the shower which was recently put in. Just a little, uh, little uh, booth there. Could have a shower. There's the rest of the bathroom there. Just a little half bath with the shower newly on the outside and we're coming out here we're going up the steps and this will take us outside here we are in the backyard it's a little bit windy today so I'm gonna try to speak up so you can hear me alright I know there's a lot of wind noise sometimes with these videos so here's the backyard he's got the nice little deck up there with the gazebo Got a pool out there. We've spent some time in the floaties already this summer. Lots of fun on a hot day. There's the old truck. My new home. Hello, truck. And here's the front yard. As you can see, it's a nice little piece of property right out in the countryside. You got lots of privacy. Nobody's bothering you. It's nice and quiet. And that's Billy's house right there. So I'll give you a quick tour of uh, my new home here. I've got everything packed up. I'm just about ready to leave. We've got our cooler right in the front seat there. Some water. In this box is just uh, various things that I might need at, uh, at a moment's notice while I'm on the road. Different chargers, some chapsticks, some pens. Got my atlas right there, I'm using that quite a bit to uh, make it across the country. Got my straw hat right there. And in the back, I've just got all this covered up right now, but uh, I don't really want to pull everything right apart. Got my guitar and various boxes and whatnot. My clothes are in there. Yeah, I'm not going to pull everything apart, but you get the gist of it. Everything's packed up just behind the seats there. I tried to make it as organized as I possibly could because I know things can get quite messy when you're on the road. 
And uh, here's the bed of the pickup. Most likely I'll be sleeping in here tonight, but uh, we're going to see how things go. It's got a few things there, my coat, my bag. I just picked up this patio chair yesterday. And uh, I got my bike that I've got to load in. So, like I said, we're, uh, we're a day behind. It's the 23rd right now. And uh, last time I filled you in, I was uh, hoping to be in, in St. John by the end of the first night. But uh, we're getting off to a late start here. Because, like I said, Islanders keep holding me up. It's already 8 o'clock at night. So tonight I'm going to uh, hopefully make it to Hopewell Rocks. And um, I'm going to see if I can pull into the parking lot there and just camp out in the back of my truck for tonight. Because, uh, as it turns out, I was reading the, um, what do you call it, the, the tide tables wrong. And uh, I was reading them completely backwards. So, when I thought low tide was in, it was actually high tide that was in. So I'm completely backwards. And uh, so low tide is probably about right now. Uh, it might start be going, starting to be going back out already. Um, but it's low tide again in the morning, so I figure if I camp out in the back of my truck tonight, I can catch low tide first thing in the morning. And then I can uh, take off and head to St. John from there. So, that's uh, that's what we've got going on right now. I'll uh, take some video from the road in uh, probably a few minutes. Uh, maybe once we get to Confederation Bridge. Because uh, we're definitely going to want to capture that on video. The last time driving across Confederation Bridge. Leaving Prince Edward Island. Going to BC. So... I'll uh, let you go for now, and uh, hope you can uh, come along for the journey. What do you say we explore Canada? I've traveled many roads, seen a lot of things, flown across the country like a bird on golden wings. But I often wonder how much I haven't seen, how much I have missed on every road I haven't been. The prairie farms, the waterfalls So I'm taking to the road again so I can see them all I want to drive every roadway, walk on every beach See every stretching wheat field and learn what they have to teach Worship every mountain, shake every farmer's hand And meet every person in this great northern Coming into New Brunswick right now. I'm seeing land again. That's a whole new province right there. And I'm going to see if I can find the New Brunswick sign because every time I've come over here, I never seem to catch a glimpse of the Welcome to New Brunswick sign. So I'm not sure if I'm missing it or if it just doesn't exist. This might be it right here. If this is it, I can't imagine how I miss this every time. Look at that. Look at that glorious sign. Welcome to New Brunswick. So long, Prince Edward Island. And hello, New Brunswick. Anyway, I'm going to shut off this thing right now because moose are afoot in these parts. Look, you can see the sign right there. Moose warning. So, uh, they're especially uh, active at this time of day, apparently. Just around sunset. So, I want to be the responsible driver and uh, watch the road. So, I think I'll catch up with you in Hopewell. Take care. Well, I know you guys can't see anything right now because it's pitch black out. Um, I have arrived in Hopewell Cape. Um, things didn't exactly go as planned. Uh, I was hoping to spend the night in the Hopewell Parks, or Hopewell Rocks parking lot. And when I got there, the, um, 
the parking lot was closed off. It was it was gated off, and so I couldn't even get into the parking lot. Um, it is 11 o'clock right now, so the trip took about an hour longer than I thought it might. Uh, but that's all right. I'm in no rush. Um, pretty much, I'm parked in a uh, a rest area. You know those rest areas that you pull off uh, on the side of the road. I'm in one of those right now. I'm still not sure if I'm allowed to stay here or not, but uh, I just got here and uh, I'm hoping to um, sleep in my truck tonight. Anyway, that's it for tonight. It's 11 o'clock. We're going to be up bright and early tomorrow to see the Hopewell Rocks. Rise and shine. It's day two. I've uh, done my best to get a uh, good night's sleep. It uh, Sleep did come, but it was a little bit tricky. It took a while to get to sleep last night. Um, as you can see, I'm uh, kind of in one of these rest areas on the side of the road. Sun's just starting to come up. It's, uh, it's just after 5.30 in the morning right now. So the rocks wouldn't even be open, I don't think. Oh, this is the rig I had set up last night. Basically, I've just got like a, uh, I don't know if you can see. I've got a, a sweater in the window here, which is good because uh, it lets you crack the window a little bit just to keep the air flowing through without letting too many bugs in. It's got it attached up top there, and it also gives you a little bit of privacy. Um, like I said, I got a little bit of sleep, but, um, sleeping in the driver's seat of a vehicle is not easy. So I'm thinking, uh, next time I, I do this car camping thing, probably be easier to, uh, get the bike out of the back of the truck and, uh, lay out the bedroll back there. At least I can stretch out. Anyway, I'm just, uh, kind of waiting around right now. I think the uh, the rocks open at seven or eight, so uh, I'll just be hanging out here for a little while, and uh, I'll catch up later on at the rocks. All right, I'm uh, at Hope Wall Rocks right now, and as you can see on the sign there, welcome. Today we are open from eight to eight. Right now. It is 6.10, so I've got some time to kill. This is what I was greeted with last night when I pulled in. I was hoping to drive up there and pull into the parking lot, and as you can see, it's all gated off. And uh, they've got basically no parking signs all over the place here. I didn't want to get in any trouble, so I uh, found another spot down the road. And incidentally, uh, when I got into my truck to uh, walk around that spot that I just showed you, I, uh, I saw a couple of um, private property, no trespassing signs up there, so uh, I guess it's lucky that nobody, uh, nobody bothered me last night. Anyway, the, the, uh, the signs are kind of uh, hard to see in the dark anyway, so I guess I would have had an excuse. Anyway... I'll uh, check in again when this place opens. Alright, it's about quarter to eight and uh, I'm starting to see people coming into uh, Hopewell Rocks. I'm zoomed in here still, I think. No, I can't tell. Anyway, there's the Hopewell Rocks sign. But uh, there's people pulling in, so I'm thinking that it's starting to open up. So we're going to venture on down this path here and uh, see the Hope Ball Rocks.